Tarkov's newest map, Streets of Tarkov, is as urban as it gets. And due to this reason, knowing how to fight in an urban environment is extremely important because for your PMC like in real life, death can come around any corner. I recently found a YouTube channel called Goran Thumb, hosted by Mike, a retired survival, evasion, resistance, and escape instructor for the United States military. And when I saw that he made a video about urban survival, I was hooked. In the video you are about to watch, I took Mike's life-saving advice from his urban survival video, which I highly recommend you watch, and even advice from a few other videos of his, and applied them to my gameplay in Escape from Tarkov. And good thing I did too, because the raids you are about to see are extremely chaotic. Our story begins in the northwestern part of the map. And after getting distracted by some blade point magazines, as we all do, I decide to head to the mall across the street. After crossing the streets unscathed, I encountered some local scavengers already looting the place. Luckily, these men were reeking of moonshine, so they were easy to eliminate. Okay. After taking out these scavs, here's where I start to utilize Mike's advice. As I'm refilling my mags, a PMC is about to approach me, and this is when I use what Mike calls your sills, which stands for stop, look, listen, and smell. Upon hearing footsteps approach, I run to cover and stop. Next, I'm going to listen for what my enemy is doing. I heard my enemy jump across the window and then sit still, so I know he's probably looking at me right now. However, what I also know is that he's going to be peeking a left side peek, and in Tarkov, that is a disadvantage because if he's close enough to the window, I can see him before he sees me. And that's exactly what happens here, allowing me to score an easy kill. As for the smell part of your sills, you're going to be looking for the scent of poop because oftentimes it means another PMC has shit himself around you. So if you're smelling poop, be on high alert and in this case, I was smelling shit. Bullets start flying in the street so I headed for cover back inside when I smell and hear another PMC jump. Once safely inside, I stop and listen once again to avoid giving my enemy any information on where I could be. And once I work out where they are, I choose my opportunity to strike, putting a bullet inside their brain matter. Firefighting is an art and you don't always have to rush into every situation guns blazing. If you can use strategy to outwit your opponent, you should always take that opportunity. After securing this kill, I reload, but I need to check this body for an SVD because I heard one outside, and if this person doesn't have it, then there's still one more enemy out there. I don't think that was... was that SVD, man? I don't think so. Well, let's see. No, it was not. But it was a PMC. Not SVD guy, though. There's SVD. Here's SVD, man. I'm just listening for steps right now. I'm back. Welcome back, Fort. We just killed two players now. And we're going to try to find the third. What was that lighting effect? The guy there. He's dead. That's a player under me right now. Oh, yeah. Throwing nades. Now, here's an interesting situation. The SVD player has forced me upstairs by using grenades and entered the building. If I walk back down these stairs right now, it would be like speed running to death. Pushing down stairs that someone is watching is a death sentence. And because I forgot grenades myself, I have no good way to do that. So I need to flank this person somehow, and luckily there was a roof I could get to to approach this person from a different angle. After jumping to the next building over and re-approaching the situation on the ground, fortunately for that player, he was nowhere to be found, and the smell of dirty diapers dissipated, meaning the coast was clear. So it was at this point that I felt like I did enough this raid and decided to run it back here on Streets of Tarkov. On my second raid, I spawned in the central east part of the map in the grocery store. 
Now, when it comes to player spawns in Escape from Tarkov, they are static, meaning players will spawn in the same places every raid. So with this knowledge, I know that there could be a player down the street for me. So I, I gotta check it out. Ooh, Kaban spawned. That's definitely Kaban. Just a semi-auto here. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, there's a guy right there. <laughs> oh, baby chat. Oh, man. You see that shit? Oh, chat. That's, that's what knowing the spawns is all about right there, baby. In order to avoid being that guy, it's good to know where the spawns are. And whenever you spawn on a map, try to note where an enemy could be spawning to your left and right, because either of those spawns could be rushing towards you. So you should be prepared for it. After that kill, I looted quickly around the theater area when I heard some pretty suspicious sounds coming from what I call the fuck store. I briefly spotted a PMC on the other side of these stairs, but I don't know if he saw me. So I'm going back to my sills. I got into cover. I've stopped. I'm listening for what he's doing, and it doesn't appear to me that he knows where I am. Although this situation is about to get crazier as he gets into a fight with another person back in the clothing area. Oh my god, someone was extra camping back there. And he's dead now. <laughs> but there's no extract there, so he can't leave. Which means he's coming right out to me, I think. Shotgun man killed, I, I think a shotgun like Timmy killed like a fully loaded guy. Okay, here, here he comes. After my first shots basically bounced off that guy's jaw, I know that he's not going to peek this angle again. I mean, there's no way. So I decide to move forward. My plan now is to use my grenades to basically flush this guy out. And I actually dropped my bag here as well to make myself lighter. Because if I'm going to push this guy, I want to make sure I have all the movement speed I can get. You think so? You think I can get it? Okay. Shit, chat, where is he? Did I just drop the bag? Okay, I got him. <laughs> GG's. <-G -G's. laughs> GG's. <laughs> oh, it was a PFC. It was another PFC. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Just to talk a little bit about what exactly happened right there, my second nade actually flushed him out successfully. It caused him to jump across the open space in the alley and take cover on the other side. This gave me all the information I needed to be confident enough to push him because I can essentially pre-fire the left side and start throwing bullets to where he is. And due to Peeker's advantage and how video games work, I'm gonna have a massive advantage over this guy. And that allowed me to kill him basically. Now with all all of this loot, my next plan is to head to the extract. I'm already getting up there in weight, and fighting over weight in this game is a big detriment to your combat ability. However, not all plans go as smoothly as you want them to, and little did I know I was about to get lit up. On urban combat. That's currently what I'm working on. I'm working on. As soon as this happened, all I could think about was somehow trying to buy time for myself to heal after these injuries. I am very close to death right here. So I got into cover and threw a nade so he couldn't push me from the front. I gotta repair that chest, bro. 
Bro, fix the stomach. Holy shit. No, move. What am I doing? Oh, my. Oh, my God, bro. Fix the stomach. Wait, what? That just didn't work? Why do those painkillers not work? There he is. He's dead. Oh my god. Is that him? Is that him flanking, you think? Turns out this actually was the guy who was shooting at me. He just went for a very wide flank. Now, flanking is a good play. I'm not going to say do not flank because that would be wrong. However, if you severely mess somebody up and you get a few shots on, I feel like it's better to just push your advantage. This guy gave me a lot of time to get into cover, even met myself a decent amount, and he even allowed me to kill him here, which I am thankful for. So I grabbed even more loot off this body and made the most badass extract you've ever seen. I mean, you've never seen an extract as badass as this one. In fact, this extract is so great, it might be the best extract of all time. Nah, just kidding, I got extra cancel. Oh.